iOS 11. Ah, so excited! Hello, and welcome back to the Curly Curry Corner. I am Aisha, and I am so excited to tell you about what I have tested out for the past week iOS 11. Now many of you are out there and you're thinking, hey, why don't I just go ahead and purchase the new phones, um, I, um, Apple iPhone 8 or the Apple iPhone X. However, have no fear for those of you that don't have the, you know, the dollars, the coins to go out and purchase those really expensive phones. iOS 11 is here and it is free and you can update and you can actually get all of the fancy bells and whistles that come along with the new phones right on your already purchased phone. So I'm so excited about it to tell you about this. Now, some of you, such as our lovely Android users, will be like, oh, we already had some of those features. Those features are already on our phones. We already had them. They're, we've been, oh no, we've already had them. Let us have our moment, our, the Apple users, let us have our moment, please. Um, I am so excited because if you are just, you know, anybody that works, uses technology, these features are excellent and great for you, but especially for the educators, those teachers, this is going to be great for you if you use any Apple device inside of your classroom. So I'm going to give you seven of the features, give you an overview of seven of the features that are available on the phone and on the iPad. Now the first two that I'm going to go over are only located available to be able to use on the iPad. And I'm just going to go over them in order, just kind of describe them and also allow you to see me using them as well. I'm going to use my handy dandy notes as well. So if you see me glance down, I'm looking to make sure that I can give you all the information. So I wrote it down so I can make sure I cover everything. Number one is a dock station. This is very similar to the dock station inside of your MacBook if you are familiar with the MacBook. But the dock station has an area where you can see all of your pinned applications on the left part of the dock and then all of the most frequently used apps on the right side. I love this because sometimes I have everything all in folders. I don't know where they are. I don't want to go and look for them. And so I can just see my most frequently used ones and then it kind of clears up that little area for me. So dock station is really good, especially if you're using the iPad um, as a one-to-one -one for your kids in your classroom. They can just go and just see the apps they most commonly use. For example, I use Schoology for our learning management system. So my kids can just pop, pop, pop and just see it right there, use it. Or they can pin the ones that they use most frequently. It's, it's very nice for that. Number two will be, uh, love it the app switcher app switcher is very similar to miss mission huh, mission control inside of your mac book oh my gosh it's just like a life changer as far as if you are the type of person that likes to um multitask you just open it up you can see all the different windows at once and just click and look at them all of that is just right there for you. If you also, if you need to go and do split screen, it is very simple for you to be able to do that. You just slide them over. It also is really cool about it is it keeps your split screen as a separate little window and you can pop it back open or pop it back down so you can go to multiple windows. It is just an awesome fe feature for those of you that multitask within your classroom, especially for those students who want to open up multiple tabs for different things. If they're doing different assignments, for, for example, for my classroom, since I teach science and we're doing a lot of things that um, call for them to do research, they can open up several different tabs and have their notes tab available, type it there in there, and then have another tab in Safari to research. So I really love it for that reason. Oh, love me, oh, love the app switcher. And I've only been using it for about a week, so I still love it. Um, and it's very easy to close them as well. So the next, what is it? I am at two, the next five that I'm going to give you is going to, you can use it on your iPhone or, and also your iPad. So document scanner, the document scanner is available in the notes and I just love it because you can actually go in, scan anything 
and turn it into a document and place it inside of your notes. Now the document scanner is only available inside of the notes area so far that I know of. I've only been using it for a week. However, you can scan anything, turn it into a, a doc or scan any document and it turns right there. Now the great thing about this is you can turn it into a PDF, which is perfect. So you can save it as a PDF. You can also, and I'm gonna to get to the next one, um, and I just don't want to skip over, but you can save it, save it as a PDF. You just scan it in there and it puts it right there into your notes. One thing about the document scanner that I think will be a great tool for classroom teachers, if you are a math or an ELA, you can take anything that you have that's paper and just turn it into a PDF so that you can grade it right there on your iPad. iPad. It's a great feature to have because you don't have to have all those papers available to you. You just put it in one little note document. Now, this brings me to number four, which is the instant markup. Now, I really like the instant markup feature inside of the notes because going back to the document that you previously previously scanned, you can hit the little box up at the top of the arrow. I call it the send to, and you can use markup, and you can mark up directly on that document that you just scanned. If you need to grade, if you need to give feedback, anything like that it's wonderful feature especially if you need if you want to just take their handwriting per um anything that they've had handwritten or anything that they worked on as far as math and give them instant feedback right there and then you can even send it to them digitally like email perfect or share it with them in the notes you can share notes with students you can just share them wonderful wonderful feature wonderful especially if they have a, a email address linked with what is it uh apple so wonderful apple profile so what am, where am i at here oh number five you guys finally finally thank you apple finally your camera your camera is now a qr reader who oh, who just now said hey let's turn that camera into a qr scanner who just thought it I didn't always have that. All these apps that we had to download to have a QR reader, it is now a QR scanner. And it will tell them, hey, you wanna go to this link in Safari? Yes, click here. Takes them straight to the link. QR scanner inside of your iPad with a camera or iPhone. Great tool for kids because if you currently use QR codes inside of your classroom, they can use iPhone, iPad and just scan it right there. Oh, I don't have a QR scan. Yes, you do have a QR scan. It's a camera. Number six, you guys. I think this may, this is probably next. This is the next to my favorite. Number six is a customizable control center. You guys, you can put anything you want in the control center and just organize it. If you want a light flashlight in there for your iPhone, if you want the camera there to select, if you want the notes in there, if you want accessibility tools in there that you want to easily access right there in your control center, you can customize it however you would like. Love it because I need, there's quick features for the settings that I need to get access to quickly. I want to use that, especially in my classroom. Time is everything. Time is everything and I want to get to it quickly and I also want my kids to be able to get to different things quickly as well if they want to as well. So very wonderful tool. Now my last and most favorite has to be the screen recorder. You guys, now, one quick thing about the screen recorder is you have to add the screen recorder through your customizable control center. So you have to add it in there for, and it has to be in your, in your control center once you customize it and then you can screen record. Not only that, but you can also record your voice while you're recording your screen. You guys, my classroom is one-to-one -one with iPads, so therefore I need to be able to record what I do on my iPad so that they can easily see it when they're using their iPad, especially for videos and things like that, because I like to reach all of my kids at one time and I'll do my videos and have them be able to access it. Very wonderful, very simple. So those are my seven top wonderful things about iOS 11. I am still using it. It is very, very new. I'm very excited about it. But even if you are not one-to-one -one in your classroom with an iPad, for every kid has an iPad, use it with your iPhone. 
use it with your i your your personal ipad in order to grade and do different things and especially the document scanner customizable control center like i said before these are different things that are just really really awesome for you to use if you use an apple product not necessarily just for classroom as well and also too it's free i love free free is everything to me so if you already have um, an iPhone, preferably an iPhone 6 or above, download it. It's free. And I'll let you know if I find out about any kinks or anything that goes on with it or if it's been acting up or definitely let you know. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about iOS 7, iOS 7, iOS 11 and how I'm going to be using it in my classroom. And stay tuned for more. Thank you so much. Bye.